Welcome back guys to the channel and in today's video let's look at some of the most amazing things in history and just realize how things were a complete lie, many of them. Let's start off with the first one which is the clay tablets of Sumer. Uh, these clay tablets have been naming five different cities that existed before the Great Flood. Eridu, Bab Tabir, Larak, Sipar and Shurupak. Now these cities are believed to be a fiction, right? But guess what? Uh, this is not the case. So there were archaeologists who actually were very open-minded about uh, the whole, you know, flood effectively, the global flood, the universal flood system, and they found the cities of Eridu, Sipar and Sh uh, Shurupak. So three of the five cities were actually found and excavated. And guess what? During their excavations, okay, in these cities they found traces of the Great Flood. That's right, the notorious flood which the biblical text talks about upon, but it is thrown upon in official science, because in science, of course, this is not accepted. Now this is really important because this shows that there was a reset event back in the past. Societies and civilizations were completely erased from the map, for particular reasons, of course, because there was an interest in establishing that. And we can see that there was a major global civilization just by looking at some of the images in different cultures. This one, for example, here shows ancient cultures holding the same bag, separated by thousands of kilometers. Now, that is physically impossible because back in the day, plagiarism, newspapers, internet, magazines, books which would travel like more than 10,000 kilometers, that was not the case. That was impossible, right? We're talking about literally more than 5,000 years in the past. So this is a clear indication, guys, that there is something at work here. Another example of how they've manipulated history. Now, this is a French map of 1,700, which marks, hold your horses here, St. Petersburg. Okay, St. Petersburg was actually founded officially in 17. However, in this ancient French map from literally the year 1700, they already have the city there, which means effectively that the city existed well before the official announcement of the city itself. What does this mean? Very simple. The reset of certain cities and certain maps and certain worlds are actually real, and they reset them to basically establish a new civilization on the place. Same thing which happened where? Well, in a very interesting place which is actually Africa. So Africa is one of those un unique and interesting places which is this completely outstands, uh, out outstands the, the person. We have here some very interesting stuff. So you guys remember the Sahara Desert, but that's just not it. You see, back in the day, in the 16th to the 18th century, hundreds of cities have almost been vanished without trace from the maps. And afterwards, after the 18th century, these cities were not anymore on the map. Now, it is very interesting to overlay old maps and modern maps. The current Eye of Sahara, all right, uh, takes place on the city of Hoden. Places of other cities were taken by charred black rocks, Sintar new formations resembling burnt out ruins, okay? And this is because there was a major, a major shuffle of a big reset in Africa back in the 16th to the 18th century, and then these cities were completely erased from existence with thermonuclear bombs, or at least very powerful thermic bombs. Why would be the case? Very simple, because back in the day, these civilizations were a threat to the actual people who control the world from the shadows. So yes, remember that, that this, again, does not have any particular explanation in common sense. You can just not justify this amazing and crazy, like, I would say, residue of buildings which are completely charred and melted, because you can tell they were literally melted by extreme heat, okay? In a place and then we have of course the Sahara Desert so something major happened there and a civilization had to be erased because this civilization maybe was the enemy of a different powerful government or civilization which were struggling to fight against each other to control potentially the planet I'm just putting this out there because of course nobody knows exactly why this civilization was erased but this could be a possibility 
Now, moving on to more stuff here, which is again just incredible. We have the Greek tomb of Amamemon. This Greek tomb of Ama Agamemon is amazing. The tomb is 3300 years old. The blocks are set without mortar and the roof is completely domed. Such precision without design and calculations is literally impossible even in our time. And this is crazy because this building effectively has very interesting formations and also this is not the tomb because there's nothing inside. Inside the object is empty. No burials have been found, no cult objects have been found either. In fact, all that can be re re relied upon is that basically the building has a smoky dome and that is it. So something was burning inside there and it was made as a dome to potentially host very hot temperatures. But for what? Nobody has any idea. It was not a furnace, it was not to cook food either because that is just ridiculous. So this particular tomb was very very unique in terms of that nobody really understands the whole reason why they built it this way and why it's so smoky. Again, another unexplained mystery of our world. And to finish off this video guys, we need to talk about the Tibet Mountains of Kailas. You see, the secret of the Mount Kailas is very very intriguing and it's all about the rapid aging around it. That's right, you heard me right, we're talking about rapid aging when you are around these structures or better said, this mountain. Because of the speed at which hair and nails grow, we can assume that 12 hours near the Kailas corresponds to approximately 2 weeks under normal conditions. Let me just repeat that for a second. 12 hours near this place, at the root of it, of the mountain, equates to literally same as being 2 weeks outside far of it. Despite numerous attempts, no climber has ever been able to conquer the summit of Mount Kailas. The geographical position of the mysterious mountain in relation to Easter Island, which is opposite Kailas, only on the opposite side of the world, and this again further expresses the mystery of these particular rocks because of their position. At the same time, this place is considered very very sacred for Buddhism because they say that this place hosts a very important energy and being nearby that energy causes some imbalances in the fluctuation of this particular holy place. So the question is the following, are these mountains actually the ones responsible for some things happening in the world or is this place actually a mountain, is it actually something else, could it be a secret base, could it be that the mountain is just a cover for something happening underneath. For example, a hidden civilization which is actually absorbing the energy from the surface earth. This is just of course one potential um, explanation to this because nobody really knows exactly why and how this is happening on earth. So guys, that's it for today's video on some of the most amazing, controversial and very weird things happening on our planet and as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I shall see you later in the next upload. Bye!